Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Unstuffing Turkey Podcast where we... <laughs> uh, I am stumbling over on my own uh, uh, uh, slogan <laughs> where we are unstuffing the Republic of Turkey one handful at a time. If you're wondering as to why I stumbled is because I cannot believe how quickly I'm having to make this particular uh, video. About five days ago, I posted a video in which part of it, in part of it, I was talking about how uh, Turkey had opened its doors to Russian oligarchs, uh, despite being a NATO member and selling weapons to Ukraine. Well, uh, <laughs> I posted that video five days ago and I believe this video that I'm about to share with you is going to say that it's been a day or two that one of the biggest um, Russian oligarchs have already you know uh, made it to Turkey in Turkish waters with his uh, gigantic 70 meter yacht his name is uh, Oleg De Pasca and uh, let's see what the uh, uh, Habai Global says uh, there we go Let's see. Here we go. Mula, bir Rus oligarkın daha lüks yatına ev sahipliği yapıyor. Rus alüminyum devi Rus alın sahibi Oleg Deripaska'nın 73 metrelik yatı Clio göcekte bir koyda demirledi. Yat the, the yacht is 73 meters long and uh, he Oleg Deripaska is a uh, aluminum or aluminium depending on how you prefer to pronounce it. Uh, it's a uh, one of the metal giants of uh, uh, Russia, or Russian Federation, I should say. How long he's going to stay in Turkey is unknown. Batan güneş tepelerin arasına kızıl bir tepsi gibi oturdu. Gökyüzü turuncu ve kızılın renklerine büründü. Denizin üzerinde lüks teknenin sürüyeti belirdi. Mula göcekteki doyumsuz gün batımı karesine giren bu yatsa Rus oligark Oleg Deripaska'ya ait. Deripaska'nın 73 metrelik yatı Clio Türk karasularına girdi. Name of the uh, yacht is Clio, evidently. Cayman Adaları bayraklı yat göçekti. The uh, uh, here we go. You can see the name Clio, and uh, it's carrying. Um, well, it's it, it, it's carrying the flag of Cayman Islands. Ve bir koya demir attı. Yatın Türkiye'de ne kadar kalacaksa muamma. It is off the city of Mula. Amerika Birleşik Devletleri, Avrupa Birliği ve İngiltere, Rus alüminyum işletmesi Rus alın patronu Deri Paskaya yaptırım getirdi. Uh, EU, the UK and the United States has uh, brought sanctions against uh, Deri Paska. 54 yaşındaki oligark Putin. He's 54 years old and he's one of the closest uh, he's one of the oligarchs that are closest to uh, uh, uh, Vladimir Putin um, and uh, he's one of his uh, favorites. Putin'in favori fabrikatörlerinden biri. İngiltere'de en az 70 milyon sterlinlik In England he has seven he has a he has a uh, wealth of altogether 70 million sterling uh, in various accounts sahip. Toplam ser uh, not in various accounts I'm sorry uh, in real estate Evet ise yaklaşık 4 milyar dolar His entire uh, uh, net worth is around 4 billion dollars Of course that's the that's the amount that you know certain uh, people can account for This is Russia so the real figure, who knows? Türkiye'ye daha önce Rus oligark Roman Abramovich'in iki yatı demirlemişti. Rus Roman Abramovich had two of his uh, yachts uh, uh, 
uh, arrive in Turkey in the past. And uh, mm. so this sort of oligarch behavior or oligarchical, I should say, behavior is uh, is of the norm. So yeah, this, this is an example of um, Ankara playing both sides of the uh, aisle. If this was France, um, uh, they would be selling uh, weapons to Russia as they, you know, uh, get ready to work on reconstruction with the United States, just like Jacques Chirac did with uh, Iraq and and Saddam Hussein. Uh, he was selling Saddam weapons as uh, dealing with U.S. Uh, to work with, you know, reconstruction post uh, Saddam era. So nothing new under the sun. Rusya Ukrayna arasında İstanbul'da yapılan barış müzakerelerine katılan Rus oligarkın yatları daha sonra Türkiye'den ayrılmıştı. Rusya ve Ukrayna arasındaki savaş başta çocuklar olmak üzere çok sayıda kişiyi mağdur etti. Now here from here is transitions to talk about, you know, the rest of the uh, civilian population and whatnot. So it hasn't even been a week that, you know, I suggested that this would happen. Um, and here they are. Well, I think there's more than one because, you know, this is, this is one with his yacht. I don't know how many have flown in in a covert manner uh, and how many may have just completely bypassed the uh, country of Turkey and maybe just went over to uh, northern uh, Turkish uh, uh, uh, half of, well not half, but no northern S uh, Cyprus where uh, the population are, you know, Turkish, even though it's not a official country that's been recognized by the international community. It's only, uh, I believe, the Re Republic of Turkey that recognizes it, but uh, um, it might be there. Um, another location for the oligarchs is, uh, another favorite location is Israel. So the list goes on and on. We don't know. The rest is just speculation. So I won't take any more of your time. Um, we're all coming up almost eight minutes. Uh, that's pretty much it. I will catch you on the next uh, video. Forgotten Country.